and I am Devoshmita from Two Busy Bums. And in our channel, we make all the cloth diapering related videos. If you are new to our channel, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button. And in this video, I just wanted to show you guys how to make a wool soaker or a wool pant. You can make a longie, you can make a shorty, but here I'm just gonna show you how to make a soaker for your diapering need. So it's very simple to make if you know how to do simple knitting you can do it so few of the things that you need is gonna be you need 100% pure wool so here this is what I have available in India there is another brand which is a little expensive I just was doing some experiments so I just picked up the Wosuo Winter King and you have to make sure that this is 100% pure wool it's better if it is 100% pure wool or it's at least 80% or more pure wool. I mean have 80% wool and then rest 20% can be blended but better to go with 100%. And this is how, these are the like 50 grams balls. And this one I made took about, I will say like one and a half of this color and half of this. So two balls are enough. To make a pant like this this is an extra large size pan that I made for my almost I mean his four year that I made for my four year old and I will be making another one for my 18 months old and I plan to make just a big size like this so that they can wear it until they are four and five for night time so wool is really good option for night time and that's what I use for my older one I'm gonna start to use the same for my little one so let's just go ahead and start making it and so all you need is the wool and 100% pure wool and knitting needles here you need a needle that is uh, 16 inch circular but this is all I had like available from my sweater due to lockdown I couldn't get a new one so I'll just go ahead and show you with this first we will start with the rib up here and to do that I got my needles I got this thread so first all you need to do is make one like this then I will slip it in my needle and then I will take that one I took 130 room so in this one I'll probably just do the same so I don't have a proper measurement you can look for the measurement elsewhere but here I am just gonna go ahead and take the same amount of number room like 130 and do this so you can take desired number of room like this and I will try to give you a approximate uh, measurements in the description box below so that will help you out let me just go ahead and take finish this step and come back to you here I have taken actually 140 instead of 130 because I just decided that there is no harm in making a little bigger because it's gonna have the drawstring in the waist so waist can be tightened at any time. I like little roomy pants so I just decided to make it bigger so both of the boys can use it anyway. And so first you have to do the rib and for doing the rib you have to do two knit and then two purl. So I'm gonna do two knits and then I'm gonna take the thread in this side and then do two purl. This one gives kind of the stretchy rib which gives better fit. So you're gonna do two knit, take this thread this side, do two purl and then take this other way again and then do two knit i'm just gonna go ahead finish the entire rib and come back and show it to you guys so this is what i was talking about so there's like two knit two pearl this is the texture of the i mean the style of the rib you're gonna get and the rib how much you want you can decide that you can do it one and a half inch two inch whatever you prefer to i'm just gonna go ahead finish this and come back and show it to guys again this is how it's gonna turn out it's gonna be nice and springy and the way that you know the right side and wrong side is basically 
you can see this side looks really nice versus this side so this side is the front side of the pin and I had the knots and everything I was kind of afraid that this one is gonna run out so I kind of mixed this up and this was not in the plan but I just did it and then this one I did about two inches now I'm gonna start doing the main body of this pant I'm gonna do it with the color green so all you have to do is kind of like make a knot here in this way and then I'm gonna just slip this on my first stitch so this is the way it is I'm actually gonna do the last two curls and then start off with the green so here is the last two curl and now I will just go ahead and instead of putting the white one I'll just go ahead and do the green there might be some right way to do it I'm not a pro in knitting so this is just the way I do and I think this works just fine and then instead of doing more curl all you have to do is knit so I will at this time I'm gonna just cut this as well you can use a scissor if you have one handy and then just go ahead and keep doing only knits with the circular knitting needles that's the best thing you can do only knit and this will look just fine i'm just gonna kind of roll this so that this goes along a little bit and that's all you have to do and this way you will keep going until you feel like you have reached the desired length of the pant the last one i think i did about um i want to say about uh six and a half or seven inches i don't remember i have to measure and give you a proper measurement on that so just gonna keep going like that and this is gonna be the body so you just keep going with the body until you reach the leg part and that's when i'll come back and i'll show you how to do the leg and that's the moment you're gonna start doing the springy thing in the crotch area so i'll just go ahead and stitch this i mean just knit it and come back when i'm done with this now i am back after doing this part after this we are probably gonna start doing the legs so as you if you can remember i got few extra ones in this one so this is tiny little bit bigger than the previous one so that's the reason when i was doing this i did a little bit extra in here so if i measure this one so here this one is almost like six centimeters a little over six centimeters whereas this one was four and a half centimeters and then this one I had about 15 and a half centimeters before I started doing the leg oh sorry it's probably was out so 15.5 from this waist till I started the leg but for this one I just wanted to make it a little bit more roomy so this one is six centimeters and from here I have done about 17 and a half centimeters here and now I am just thinking about rather than doing a soaker just because I have a soaker already I'm probably gonna go ahead and do a, a shorty from this so in case if you are willing to make a soaker I will attach the pictures on how you have to do so basically at this point what I did was I took some numbers of rooms here in the middle and from the back side so here I took about like you can basically break this into half so half is there half is there and then this I actually broke it into four parts 
so if you are breaking it into four parts so this is your half and then here is the four parts so then middle of it i kept for making this springy part and this one fourth and one fourth those quarters i just closed it and then from here i started doing this part so it was basically again two knit and two purl giving you the springiness just like the waist and then after that i started doing this all the way till here when i was like satisfied and that's how much i wanted so i was kind of measuring you can also measure that the much you want in the crotch and the leg hole will also depend on that if it is too small your leg will be smaller too so you just want to measure your baby's leg and do this accordingly so after i was done with this i did not know the kitchen stitch i feel like so i didn't know how to do this at that point so i just stitched it like this that's why it looks like this but if you can find the kitchen stitch i will try to put a link in the description box below so that you can follow that i'll probably use it in here as well for the first time though and you can see here i started using the another roll because one roll gave me about this much so for the shorty what i'm gonna do is basically go another few inches in the length so i have up to here so i believe i will go ahead and do the same way for another two inches or two and a half inches basically it's more gonna be like a bloomer and then i will just stitch the middle part and then make the legs on both the side so i feel like this one will be a lot easier to make than the soaker just because this one you know you don't have to calculate anything that much or something so this one will be a lot easier and faster to make i'm just gonna go ahead and probably make few more inches then as i said i am going to start the legs on both the side like a round and i will stitch the middle part and then i'll come back and show you how it looks like here i have reached the desired length of the pant right now so i'm not going through any pattern so i'm just eyeballing the pants so here they're about the same and in this one in the legs i have about 60 rooms in this i'll probably go with the same because that way you know i know this fits on their leg comfortably and this one in total have 140 so when i'm taking 60 on this side 60 on this side there will be only like 20 in the middle so you go like 10 10 10 on this side 10 on this side and 60 this side and 60 this side i feel like that will be fine or i might just go ahead and go four four uh, less on each side and see how it works i'm gonna go ahead and start doing the leg and i'll come back and show it to you so i basically just took 56 numbers of rooms from this side and started doing two knit two pearl with this white color and then I did about six rows of this whereas there I did four rows but here I was afraid that my color is gonna run out so I just did six rows of this and then I did four of this and now I am just closing this ones after I am done with this I have the thread right here so I'm gonna go back and then I will do this leg come back and show it to you guys Here's how the pant is looking or the diaper cover wool cover is looking so far and I have done this ones basically just did this six rows of this four rows of this and then stopped this then came back on this side and did this leg after that I stopped this one now I have 14 in here and 14 of them in here let me just pull it and show you like this 
now i am going to do a stitch called a kitchen stitch i believe i'm gonna do a try to put a link in the description so if you don't know how to do that you can check it actually even i don't know how to do it i'm gonna learn and do it because last time in this pant i did the like did it in the circular middle but after coming from here when i came here i did not know how to like join it or stitch it so i did kind of like a uh, regular kind of stitch by kind of like knit together and this did not came up nice and clean so if you know how to do that stitch the kitchen stitch it will come out a lot better in this it will basically look all like this i'll try to do that and see how it looks like and here is this that i have the old pant this is how it looks like after finishing you can see almost same in the size little bit difference here and there which is fine with me and another thing i just remember i forgot to do this holes for putting this thread or the this one for tightening the pant i'm going to go ahead and make this one as well i'll show you when i make this how i make this with this needle and the yarn and i'm probably gonna just try to put them from here because wool is you know you can make these holes up that should be fine i believe just because i forgot i mean there's nothing else i can do right now that's what we are gonna go ahead and do i'll try to stitch it and show you the final product at the end here i have the final and almost finished product i just finished the kitchener's stitch i was saying kitchens but it's called kitchener's stitch and as you can see it has gone from here but it's invisible looks like it's just done together there's like barely a little bit that i know because i have not done it probably properly because i don't have a needle i try to do it with the crochet and this is how it looks like this is the soaker that i have and this is kind of like the bloomer and as you can see the stitch that was here not clean enough but this is pretty clean you cannot tell where it was stitched from so now what i have to do is gonna stitch this sides of the legs and gonna make this kind of rope and i'll just show you quickly how to do that and then i'll finish that off and then i'll put it in here i decided to go with the color white for the waistband or the i mean the rope and then first i took four numbers of room that's what i want to do it with if you take more it's gonna be a thicker one i am happy with this you can also do this with uh crocket needle if you want to there's methods to do it you can find out you can also do by doing the french knitting i believe there's like this stick kind of thing you do it or you can do it like this this is what i find easier for myself and i don't have any other tool so this is works out for me what you basically do is just knit so gonna knit So when I need this and after you knit all this and then all you have to do is slip all the rooms in this one there now the thread is here but we're gonna start 
knitting from this one so when you do that what is happening is this thread is kind of like stitching this from the back side and that's how this is gonna be all round and not like flat so it will be more like a warm so i'm just going to go ahead and finish this come back and show you guys how it looks like then the last one you have something like this now all you're gonna do is slip it back so just keep going like this until you reach your desired length for this here i have the finished wool pant this is the soaker that i made earlier and this is the wool bloomer or shorty or soaker you can call it wool cover pant whatever you want is here and here is the invisible stitch that was done then the sides were not that clean but it looks fine i mean you know looks fine i have stitched this part and i thought it will be enough with this color but eventually i ran out and started doing with the other color so doesn't matter to me i am happy with the result you can give it a try and let me know how it worked for you stay tuned for our next video in the next video i'm going to show you how i analyze my wool i do it in a very simple way in the setup that i have so i'll go ahead and analyze it in a day or two and i'll take you along with me i hope you like the video if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comment box below thank you for watching the video until our next video, love your babies.